Looney Farm Guy here, and this is Silo Container by DDMod Passion for Farming Simulator 22. It's for all platforms, PC, Mac, and console. I'm on PS5 here on Rock Crawl for this demonstration of this um, crazy uh, genius um, mod, uh, is all I can say. Um, this is 1.98 megabytes to download. Um, I didn't check the slot count, and we'll check that in a moment. Uh, but this uh, is, <clears throat> it's a silo, but it's not a silo. It is actually going to be found under tools and auger wagons. Yes, it's not a placeable, it's an auger wagon. And look at those numbers. So it's $10,000 <clears> to purchase. And capacity ranges from 35000 to there's a lot of zeros there i counted them a billion liters capacity of all of those products you see down there so literally everything including liquids so liquid and bulk materials grapes literally everything possible on a map excluding uh pallets it's not pallets um or anything on a pallet uh, unless it's like a seed pallet that you could dump into a, a silo or an auger wagon. Anything that you could put into a trailer, basically a liquid or... Yeah. Um, so let's look at it. So we have capacity choices here. This is where you choose it. 35,000 liters. We can have it at um, a mil 10 million liters. Yes, there's I think three... Yeah, 10 million liters. Or is that a million? Uh, zero, 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 oh, one million. Or a billion. So a million or a billion, it's your choice. Now, this is very interesting. Uh, well, aside from the colors, so we can choose any of these colors. And these are going to be uh, the, the, just a shiny, glossy color, $1,000. And then if you want to, the design color is interesting because that's a kind of chrome-y color. Uh, whichever color you choose there we go pink yeah so that's cool uh, color choices are neat right so <clears throat> this is how you get it how do you move it around well you can move it around it, it pops into your store so you're gonna have to move it and that's another kind of neat thing so it recommends the CSZ pack which it contains a whole bunch of stuff and we can see it here i will put a link to this mod and uh there's there's multiple multiple attachments that come with this but the one in particular that um i'm going to be using for this is we'll scroll over here and find it eventually actually there so extension for lifting uh, this is the one I am using for this demonstration in a telehandler configuration, and you'll see why, as you can probably see why up where I have it already. I have it attached to this telehandler, and uh, let's... Uh... So, here we have it on the end of a telehandler. I'm going to drop it so you can see right so I'm gonna attach this this is I mean um, a, basically a, a crane a hook and so what I have to do is extend it all the way and up because this silo is quite tall now notice on this silo there's a bar basically whoop uh, come on a bar across now you want to you want to approach this um, at a 90 degree angle on either side for best operation or best because it's going to hook on that bar in this orientation so here we go we got the attach symbol X there we go it is attached so now we can lift it and move it wherever you want. Isn't that cool? Right, so this is, now think of this not as a silo, 
but as a auger wagon and the reason I say that is it can only hold one product at a time and notice it's very swingy even just a I wasn't wildly going around it will swing wildly uh, with any slight movement so if just to settle it down you lower it a little bit let it hit the ground a little bit there we go and kind of settle it down so we're gonna demonstrate a couple of things you can use this for and we're gonna do I haven't tried there's one thing I have not tried yet which I will in a moment but here we go so I'm gonna let go of it make sure you have the silo highlighted before you let go and not your CSZ attachment we will show you what happens after when that happens but right now there and it should settle in pretty good and it seems to be fairly stable it's it's like it doesn't weigh anything when you pick it up but when you put it down so notice I'm running into it it's not falling over so that's really good that's some thoughtfulness there although it, I wished it weighed a little bit more when you picked it up so it would be a bit more stable okay let's put something in it we got some wheat just because now it's a little tricky you have to understand how this works pretend as as I said you have to think of this as an auger wagon a self-powered auger wagon and as we come up here we're gonna get the trigger so the trigger is not really marked anywhere but basically it's around the silo see I got the icon here so I just dump it on the ground and it goes in goes in now this is the 35,000 liter capacity one I have here now the other thing you have to be careful of is um, the um, see we got 12,000 so it's it's over 5% full now reason I say that is when you get into the higher capacity models um, if it's less than 5% and you put something else in it will delete the previous contents and fill it with the one you have now now you may wonder how do I get it out well it's kind of obvious and yet not quite so obvious but it's automatic unloading since there is only one product in there and you can only put one product at a time you just need to drive underneath it and here it is it it's really fast filling now this one isn't the fastest filling of them and we'll talk about that in a moment however let's hop into this this is a tank of slurry and this also it will also accept slurry which which I mean there's there's a lot of possibility for this you can set this at the side you take this to the side of a field somewhere so there we go we got 35,000 liters of slurry in there we have to drive away a little bit get away from the trigger and to just get the slurry back out of it is there we just drive underneath and it will fill whatever uh, whatever you need to uh, fill uh, and fairly quickly now um, right so that's so I, if you want to fill it with slurry and put this at the side of the uh, field or carry it around we have uh, let's fill it back up again right because let's uh, let's see if it weighs more if it's easy to carry if it's full right you want to know that because because there's a lot of uh, crazy things you could probably do with this maybe you just carry this around the field to where your slurry spreader is and refill it that way I don't I don't know I mean I'm trying to think of so many different ways this could be used it's quite um, it's quite incredible just this little thing um, this he's the DD mod passion has uh, the uh, van remember the um, I don't know if you remember but there is um, oh this um, hopefully this there we go 
and there so that's one thing I've noticed is this uh, lift thing sometimes this sometimes that hook gets a little bit sideways and now it's sideways I don't know why it does that and it makes it go sideways and I don't know if that's a problem with the uh, <laughs> so you have to kind of uh, it's it's a little bit you don't want to oh you don't want to tip it over cuz it's and see that hook is stuck sideways and I don't know why I don't know if it's because it's been hooked to that or did it get did it, oh no now it's oh sure now it's fine it got all hooked up on itself so uh right <laughs> um that's one of the problems with this one if it gets on its side then it's um uh, kind of tricky to uh let's see oh no 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 right so uh, let me deal with this okay i got it back hooked up again now what i wanted to try so we got slurry in there right so what if you have a thing uh, a container full of slurry and you want to sell it for example i guess and just take it to a sell point or something will it automatically unload oh man can stop swinging slurry is not accepted here well that's just great Okay. <laughs> Let's uh, unhook that. And um, we're going to try out that. So, I mean, it did recognize it. So, we have one over here set to an unreal capacity. This one's set to the 1 billion. And if we hop in here, uh, I got uh, some wheat in here. And we're going to put the, put the wheat in. And we're going to show you a couple of things with this. Um, I know this video is a little bit longer, but I wanted to explore a couple of different things. All right, now, so the wheat's in there. Now, um, the one thing that always concerns me about really, really high capacity items is how fast they unload now you've seen with the other one it unloaded pretty quickly and it was only 35,000 liters but this one is a billion liters uh, with a b and how fast yeah I, I couldn't even finish the how fast does it load it's already loaded this 260,000 liter capacity trailer in nearly instantaneous so <laughs> So I'm going to put this back in and we're going to try one more thing. All right, so we're going to try one more thing. We've hooked it back up again. And so we only got, so, so you notice the percentage down there of weight, 260,000 liters didn't even blip on the percentage of how much it is in there. So if I came by with something else and put it in there, it would delete whatever I had in there and replace it with what I had. So here we're going to we're going to put this over top of this cell point and uh just see if uh if it if it will unload into the Oh, so it's not it's not recognizing the cell point. Right. Interesting. Because it is an auger wagon, but it says wheat's not accepted, which is odd. Okay, let me try something else. All right, so I've set up a base game silo. Will this empty into a silo? Well, it says it gives me the start filling, which is odd but not really because it's a auger wagon. 
when it's not it's swinging around a lot that's really annoying come on stop um, so it doesn't look like you can put it it doesn't look like it's recognizing silo as somewhere you can put this into so interesting now not to say that all silos will or will not accept it or sell points but for now it looks like it's only it only it'll only um unload into trailers so interesting nonetheless but i'm a little disappointed that it didn't that it wouldn't unload into a cell point or a silo because that would have been really useful i think hmm but uh pretty crazy and ingenious nonetheless so go ahead play with it a little bit experiment try it out try different things uh have a bit of fun with it <clears throat> And that's a silo container by DDMod Passion, 1.98 megabytes. Let's see. Uh, let's sell one of them. And um, we're going to see uh, one slot. It looks like only one slot on console. So that's uh, that's pretty pretty neat. A little... Um, yeah, I would like to see this in, actual, in an actual auger wagon. I wonder if that's possible. I'm sure it is. But anyways, there it is. Uh, thank you all for watching. I'm Looney Farm Guy. And remember, it's only a game. So till next time, bye for now.